So we're caught up in drama Everybody's talking, everybody's talking We're caught up in problems Everybody's talking, everybody's talking Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris. Hope everybody's doing alright tonight. I've got another video for you. This is an important video. Keyword important. We're actually going to start the contest giveaway today, guys. Yes, that's right. Everybody should be excited, excited about what they're going to win. So I'm going to go over the contest rules here in just a second. But I also wanted to let you guys know, stay tuned because I'm actually going to do a build review on the Cinema X build from Steven Wizard. So I think you guys really like that as an updated version. And Steven does an amazing job on his builds. So check it out. I think you're going to love it. All right. So there's three things, three things that you will have to be able to do to be able to be a contest entry. Okay. So the three things are one, you have to be a subscriber. All right. So that's the key number one thing. In order to have an entry into the contest, you have to be a subscriber. So if this is your first time watching, you got to click on the link below and hit subscribe for me, guys. Okay? That is important. You have to be a subscriber or you cannot win. Number two, I'm going to do three videos today, tomorrow, and Saturday. All right? Each day, I'm going to give you a keyword, key phrase, or key something that you have to remember. All right? So you're going to have to write it down, and you're going to have to remember it. And you're going to, at the end of the third video, once you have all three items, you're going to email me personally at my email address down at the bottom of the description box. Okay, And I'll leave it there, all three videos. I always leave it there anyway on all my videos. But at the end of the third video, you're going to email me what three items you come up with. If you have guessed all three correctly and you are a subscriber, then that is the second part of the entry into the contest okay the third one's very simple the third one today you're gonna leave me a comment at the end of this video on what video that I have done that you have watched is your favorite video alright so once again at the end of today's video you're gonna leave me a comment in the comment box on what the favorite video that you've watched of mine is Simple as that, guys. So those are the three things. So let's go over one more time. You have to be a subscriber. You have to come up with the keyword, key phrases, or key somethings. You have to email me those, obviously. You have to be the correct answers. And thirdly, very simple, you just have to leave a comment today on this video about what your favorite video of mine is. All right, which one you enjoyed the most. All right, so very simple. Now... The giveaway, the grand prize, guys, is the Lil Box Q2 streaming device. All right, how about that, guys? This is the same one that I've done the review on. It's already got some things loaded on there for you guys, and I think you guys are going to love it. So if you guys have a Fire Stick or if you have something like that, um, you guys are going to absolutely love this, and it is nice, very nice. It usually runs around $100, $150, and uh, right now they have it on Amazon on, on sale for around $50 US dollars, okay? But it's going to be a great giveaway. This is going to be a fun contest, and I think you guys will really like it. Now, keep in mind, you're going to have to watch videos from start to finish because I like to talk a lot, so I, I hate it for you there. Um, but you have to watch the videos because at any time throughout the video, I'm going to talk about that keyword, key phrase, or key something, and you're going to have to know what it is, all right? So, with that said, thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for being subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, this is a great time to do it. Make sure you click on the bell. That way you guys are notified of any new videos that I come out with. And thank you for just being who you are and support me and following me. You know, I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart so let's go ahead and get started guys all right so if you're new to this whole thing you want to start out open your cody 
It's going to be, it has to be Cody 17.3 Krypton. All right. If you do not have a Cody 17.3 Krypton, there are videos on YouTube that you can watch. Uh, there's a ton of them that you can actually watch to actually go in and it shows you how to download Cody. Okay. Uh, if you have a streaming device with Google Play, if it's Android uh, native, then it's really simple. All you have to do is go into Google Play and download the Kodi, and it will always be the most updated version. Or you can go into the Kodi website as well, all right, and you can download it that way. All right, so we're starting out with fresh Kodi 17.3 Krypton. The first thing we want to do is go up to the gear. I've got it highlighted there for you. Go ahead and click Enter. Then we're going to scroll down to System Settings. Go ahead and click Enter. Then down to Add-ons. Click to the right for me. Then down two clicks to Unknown Sources. We want to go ahead and click Enter. That'll bring up a warning box. You just want to go ahead and hit Yes. That way you will be able to download add-ons or builds to Kodi. All right. So once you've got that entered, go ahead and click Enter. Or back. Excuse me. Then we're going to scroll down to the File Manager. Go ahead and click Enter. And then in the file manager, you want to go down to add source. Go ahead and click enter. Then you're at the URL part. So here you want to go ahead and click enter. You're going to type this URL in just the way that I have it. Okay. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash aw dot Aries hyphen project dot com. All right, that's the URL to the Aries wizard. That's the key component as of right now. All right, so you got to make sure it's spelled exactly the way it is. All the characters are the, the exact way that I have them. Okay, so go ahead and click enter. Then we're going to go ahead and name it. So we're going to go ahead and click enter in the name section and we're going to scroll down and name it Aries. It's pretty simple to remember, except for I can't type. All right, so once you've got Aries in there, go ahead and click OK. As you can see from the highlighted box there, Aries is in there that is ready to roll. All right, so you've got your URL in there. Now we've got to add it on. All right, so let's go ahead and backspace twice. We'll go back out to the main menu. We'll scroll down to Add-ons. Go ahead and click Enter. Then scroll up to the install box. Okay. You're going to go ahead and click enter. Then down to install from zip file. Go ahead and click enter for me. Then scroll down to the name that we named it. If you named it something different, obviously you wouldn't want to pick Aries. But if you follow along with me, just go ahead and click Aries. Scroll down once to repository.aries project. Okay. And then we're going to go to my add ons. Click back. As you can see, it says currently downloading add-ons. All right. As you can see, it disappeared. And you see the box up at the top that says the repository has been installed. All right. Once you see that, you know it's okay to move on. All right. So the next thing we want to do is click install from repository. And we're going to scroll down to Aries Project. Go ahead and click enter. Then down to program add-ons. Click enter. Then once down to Aries Wizard. Go ahead and click enter. And then as you can see from this box, we want to go ahead and install it. You'll see a check mark beside it. That means it's been installed. And also you see the Aries Wizard add-on installed box up at the top. All right. So then we want to go ahead and click enter again. Move all the way to the left. And we want to open it. All right. It's going to go ahead and download and extract the files. Once it does that, it'll go to a blank screen. All right. Do not worry, guys. This is very key do not worry all right that is not the key word or key phrase by the way <laughs> just just saying um, but it'll go blank and then you'll think that there is nothing going on and then Aries wizard will pop up so don't do anything there it is okay Aries wizard is one of the best wizards available by the way you can if this is your first time looking at the wizard check it out you know definitely check it out because there's all kinds of builds on there and that's one thing that I love about this wizard is the amount of builds that you can choose from. All right. And it, there's a good amount of the Krypton builds and there's a good amount of the project or the um, Jarvis builds. All right. So let's go ahead and click browse builds, which you're already on. You're going to scroll down to a little bit 
past Biagio builds. That's your keyword there on that. Um, you're going to go down, and once again, that's not the keyword, key phrase, or key something. I'll let you guys know when that is the case. But we want to go ahead and pick the one that says Steven. All right, go ahead and click Enter. All right, now these are all great builds. I'm a Steven Wizard fan, and every one of these are awesome. If you haven't tried them, try them out. All right, so you'll see a Cinema build here, but we want to do the Cinema X build. So we're going to go down to where it says Cinema X build. We're going to go ahead and click Enter. And then we're going to go ahead and install it. Now, if you have favorites that you've saved or if you have sources, uh, URL sources that you've saved, or if you've changed anything on any of the add-ons, uh, the settings, you can save those by just clicking on them, okay? There's one there and there's one there. And then that way when you download this build, the save changes will be on there. But we want to go ahead and hit proceed because I have a fresh Cody, nothing on there. All right, now this is a good time to tell you what the keyword, key phrase, or key something is. All right, I live in a college town. All right, this is pretty much, our town is pretty much the college. All right, it's the college and only college. All right, the key thing that I want you to look up, now you're going to have to do a little bit of research on these key items, okay? But the key thing that I want you to look up is in this college town, there was a tragedy that happened back in the 70s. Or like, I think it was actually 70. All right. And it was a devastation to our community and to our town. There was a movie that was made about it. All right. That's, that's something that you want to definitely look into. All right. So you're going to have to do a little bit of research. But the tragedy involved a lot of deaths. All right. And it was a shocking moment for the community. There was a movie made about it. And one of the main stars in that movie was Matthew McConaughey. All right. So I want you to tell me what that movie is. All right. Good luck, guys. That is your key. Key word is the name of the movie that Matthew McConaughey starred in about our college town tragedy. All right. So there you go, guys. That's your first clue. That's your first clue for the first keyword. Tomorrow and Saturday, we will also have uh, same things. It'll be basically something that you have to search for, something that you're going to have to look up. But trust me, it'll be worth it, guys, because if you guys get this little box Q2, if you're the winner of this, there you, you will be basically very happy because it is a great device. All right? So while we've talked about all that stuff, the download process has happened. Now it's extracting the files. All right. Now, I'm also going to take the time to tell you guys, this is this is very important to me, okay? And means a lot to me. All right. I want to be your Cody source. So we have to make a pact. In order for me to be your Cody source, I have to give you things that you want to see. All right. So... The things that you want to see, let me know, guys. If there's something like build or some kind of build review that you want me to see, just send me an email, let me know, or leave a comment, and I'll try to do a build review or a video that pertains to what you want to see, okay? I did have somebody, one of the subscribers, email me personally. and said, hey, Chris, I just checked this out. Uh, I watch you all the time, and, and trust me, he's a big supporter of mine. He's left me donations, so on and so forth. So, uh, Grell, I thank you very much if I pronounced your name right there. But um, anyway, uh, the, the key thing is he sent me an email, and he said, hey, look, this build is awesome. You know, he, you know, he's watched enough of the videos to know, and he's looked at the comments to know that people are asking about, you know, what – builds are popular for the fire stick or for lower end devices like that like fire tv fire stick things like that uh and he said hey i said i come across this build I download it it's awesome i think you should do a video on it and sure enough uh actually i was getting ready to do a uh, build review on it anyway but i ended up doing it the next day and um and it worked out really well because you know i got to show some people that have fire sticks um, you know, a build that is actually going to work really well with them. So that's the key thing. You just make sure that you guys reach out to me. Let me know if there's something you want to see. Okay. Definitely keep leaving comments. I love the comments. Uh, if you have questions, uh, please leave comments, uh, you know, w in regards to the questions. 
All right, and I'll try to get back with you as soon as I can, guys. I promise you I will. Uh, sometimes I can get back quicker than others, so it looks like I'm actually blazing fast with with coming back to you guys, but sometimes there are times that I'm not available as quickly, and it takes me a little bit of time, all right? So just keep that in mind. But anyway, we are done with the extracting of the files. Now it says, do you want to back up the Skinner profile? I always hit no. Then it says, do you want to join the contest? No, you don't want to enter that contest. You're entering mine. <laughs> we got a great contest going on right now, guys. It spans today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Keep that in mind. All right, so we want to go ahead and hit no. We don't want to enter that contest. We want to hit this. We want to enter Chris Caserta's contest. All right, so then it says Cody needs to be closed. Press OK to attempt to close Cody. Go ahead and hit OK. That's going to take you back to your device's main menu. All right. From there, you just want to hit Cody or go back into your Cody. Okay, we're going to give it a second pull up. And as always, make sure you let the build do its thing. Make sure that all the skin shortcuts are downloaded and the build menu downloads as well, okay? Because if you start navigating through the build before it's completely done its thing, uh, it's going to freeze up. Now, that doesn't say that add-ons might still be going on, you know, because you'll consistently have add-on updates and things like that at the bottom. Um, but... You want to just make sure that everything has been cleared as far as the shortcuts, the end shortcuts, and build menu. Okay, see skin shortcuts, and it gives you the percentage there down at the bottom right. Okay, so at, at the top, you know you have home, favorites, search, power. So you have the search menu there. I love that. Steven does a great job. He's very particular about his builds, and they all look amazing. They all look amazing. So... If you uh, don't like this one, definitely check out his other ones because you're going to find one, I guarantee you, that he likes. Uh, they're not overly exorbitant. Uh, he puts in what you need and what you need only. Uh, a lot of these builds have numerous add-ons, and you don't even use half of them. There are probably even seven or 75 percent of them you don't use. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty much done. So we're going to take a quick gander through the menu here. So we got a hub movies, TV shows, kids, TV, sports, music, add-ons, settings, search, and then we're back to the hub, okay? So a lot of great menu items there. Now, if we click hub, it's going to bring up the movie database or a menu to get to the movie database. If you all have not seen the movie database, it is amazing. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. So all you have to do in this case is I just always go into all movies, the movie database. Go ahead and click enter. Okay, it's going to bring up the movie database. The movie database has the, some of the top downloaded or trended videos as of right now. All right, they're always going to be popular pretty much at the top. All right, so as you can see, we've got a good list of them. All you have to do is move through. Now, let's say we want to watch Dunkirk. All you have to do is click enter, a fast enter, and then it's going to bring up Extended Info Mod. At the top of the Extended Info Mod, you see PG-13, so you see the movie rating, you see the votes, you see the runtime, you see the release the budget and the revenue. Pretty cool. The Below that, you can see the synopsis. Okay, so this is uh, Dunkirk was... Basically, the event that shaped our world, miraculous evacuation of Allied soldiers from Belgium, Britain, Canada, and France, who were caught off and surrounded by the German army from the beaches in the harbor of Dunkirk, France, between May 26th and June of, um, 4th of 1940 during Battle of France. So, pretty awesome, guys. Tells you what the movie's about. All right, so if we move up from the play there, there is all the movie add-ons that we can play this movie from. All you have to do is click on one of those, and it'll take you to the downloading part of the video. All right? You also can play it directly here. If you do that, it gives you, a, once again, options as far as the movie add-ons to pull it up on. All right, all right there, guys. So you can watch whatever your favorite. So if, uh, let's say uh, Elysium is your favorite add-on. Uh, you can go ahead and go into that. Exodus is your favorite add-on. There you go. This one has Covenant and Exodus, by the way. Just letting you know. Uh, I will tell you this. Um, Exodus is no longer getting any more updates. 
All right. I um, I saw a um, info box that pulled up on that, and Exodus is no longer. Remember, no longer getting any more updates. So whatever the last update was is is it. So if it's not going to work, there's not going to be any more updates to to cover for what it doesn't work. Covenant is taking over. All right, just like Zen and Elysium. Elysium took over from Zen. Covenant's taken over for Exodus. All right, so just keep that in mind. Now, let's say we want to add this to the library. Let's say we love this movie. We've seen this movie before, or maybe this is just a movie we want to watch and we don't have time to watch it. All right, all you have to do is click enter, and that's going to add it to your movie library. Simple as that, guys. How cool is that? All right, you also have your metallics add on there. You got settings. And then scroll down, you've got movies from the movie database that are very similar to Dunkirk. All right, this is based on the similarities between the movies. All right, obviously you're going to see probably a lot of war movies here. You've got Schindler's List because it's about World War II. You've got App Pupil, obviously about uh, Germans. you got Pearl Harbor, you know, Pianist, Saints and Soldiers, all movies that are very similar to Dunkirk or in a relation to Dunkirk, okay? So that's pretty awesome. So they say you watch this movie, you love it. You can actually pick one of these movies, and it's very going to be very similar. So you're probably going to like that one too. All right, the next thing down, you got related movie list. You got official videos for Dunkirk. You have YouTube videos in regards to that, and you also have the cast. So let's say we want to pick one of these cast members out. Let's say Jack Loudon. All right, see if he's been in any other movies. In this case, he has. So if you like him in his acting style, you can pull up any movie that he's been in. Uh, if he has been in a TV show role, there you go. You got that as well. And then his YouTube videos, artwork, so on and so forth. He tells uh, about his birthday, play, place of birth. So he was from uh, Essex, England. And it tells a little bit about him himself. So great stuff there, guys. I mean, that's the one thing I love about the extended info mod. It's great. All right, now let's go back. Let's say we want to play it from there. We knew how to do that. Let's say we want to add it to the library from there. All right, all you have to do is long press the select button, all right, for a couple seconds, and then it'll bring up the option menu. You can play it from there. You can add it to the library, which we've already done, and you can also view the trailer. So if it's a movie that you want to watch uh, and you want to see more about it, you can watch the trailer. So some cool stuff there, guys. Now, from here, you can actually go all the way to the left. It'll pull up your menu item, and then all you have to do is hit enter, and it goes to the TV shows. As you guys know, Game of Thrones is my favorite TV show, so I love that. You can go into that, and it's going to bring up the extended info mod for Game of Thrones. All right, so you have specials usually that come with it. This is just like buying a box set. I mean, it's amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. All right, so you have all of your seasons. You also have the episode list of all the seasons. All right, now if you have not watched Game of Thrones, I definitely recommend you watch Game of Thrones. Uh, I have not watched the second episode of the current season, which is seven. So I'm going to watch that tonight. But some great information there, guys. The extended info mod is absolutely wonderful. And just so we can show you, just so we can show you, I'm going to go ahead and add Supernatural, long press select button, add the library, and you can see down at the bottom it says added Supernatural library, starting library scan now. There you go. You can see the time limit on that that it's going to take. Okay, and then while it's doing its thing, we want to go ahead and hit back, and then back. Okay, and then we're back to the main menu. Simple as that, guys. Now, in order to get to the library items, all you have to do is cl uh, scroll down. Once you scroll down, you got your TV show, movie set, and movies. Those are all s sections for your library. Keep that in mind. So if I've had a lot of people actually pull this up, and they're like, man, there's no movies in this build at all. This is just for your library purposes, okay? Your favorites. So if you go into movies, okay, it, obviously it doesn't look like there's any movies as of right now. All right. 
So let's go down. Let's go into TV shows. Oh, it's in a different. I'm sorry. Uh, it's usually in a different format. There it goes. All right. It just took a little bit of time to do that. So you got Game of Thrones, which we knew it was in there. The Mist, Ozark, and Supernatural. See, remember we added Supernatural to TV shows. All right. We go back, down, and go to movies. If you click to the right, you'll see the movies. There's Dunkirk that we added. There's John Wick 1 and 2. Now keep in mind, there's only two movies in that series. So with adding the two movies in the series like that, if you go back and go down to movie sets, there's John Wick right there. How cool is that, guys? You can control your library, make it what you want, Put the videos and the movies and TV shows in there that you like the best. And then you never have to go search and form. They're right there. So if you have kids like me that like to watch, say, like Power Rangers 4,000 times, I can add Power Rangers in there and not have to go searching in an add-on to find it. It's right there. So awesome stuff, guys. All right, so let's go back out and move on. You've got movies. Click on movies. It's going to bring up the Covenant add-on. And you can always tell by the top, it says Videos, Add-ons, Covenant. And then you can pull up the menu items there. So let's say we want to go into Year. And let's say I was born in 1970. I know, I'm old. But if we go into 1970, it's going to pull up all the movies, or pretty much a very, very large portion of movies that was um, in the 1970s. So there you go, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, MASH, the movie, Patton, one of my favorite stories, maybe because I was born that year, I don't know, Kelly's Heroes. So there you go, guys, check that out. El Topo, Catch-22, Tour, 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 some great movies, Airport's funny. All right, so anyway, you kind of get the gist there. You can do it via years. If you go back, you can do it versus people watching, and that's going to pull up the most popular or top trending movies out right now as you can see uh, and these are the best quality movies too so if Legend of the Sword King Arthur Legend of the Sword is up there that's going to be probably a good bet that it's going to be a great download um, to watch going to be a great source add-on all right and there's mummy you got boss baby Wonder Woman going in style and so on and so forth all right all right, so that's pretty awesome. If you go back, go down. Here is all your movie sub menu. You've got sets. You go into sets. Okay, you got files. You got Osmosis, Movie Dude, Flex Sanity, Box Set Kings, Poseidon, 1080p, Bubbles, Deliverance, Exodus, FlixNet, Reborn, Goodfellas, Maverick. Quantum, Showbox, Skynet, Specto, Salts, Black Hat, Pyramid, Wolfpack, White Devil, Falcon, At the Flicks, Real Movies, Stream Hub, Movies Arena, and Supremacy. Is that not enough add-ons or what? All right, so let's just go into one of them. Let's go into uh, White Devil. All right, just to show you that each one of these submenus is working. There you go. You're in the White Devil. You see it, videos, add-ons, and then it says White Devil Streams, and it gives you the White Devil add-on menu. All right, so there's all kinds of stuff there, guys. So pretty still, pretty cool stuff there. All right, let's go in one more. We're going to Movie Dude. And there you go. So featured movies, action movies, we go into adventure movies, it's going to give us adventure movies under mo movie for you. And we're going to let it load and let it do its thing. And there you go. So all menus for that particular genre. All right. Okay, so we go back out, and like I said, you have many others to choose from. All right, moving on. TV shows. This is going to be brought to you through Covenant as well. Same thing. You can pull it up any of these items. All right, hit back. And then you have 
Flixanity, Poseidon, Bubbles, Deliverance, Exodus, Flixnet, Reborn, Goodfellas, Maverick, Quantum, Showbox, Specto, Salts, Wolfpack, Supremacy. All items that you can pull up and watch your TV shows for. All right, kids section. Click kids. Okay, we're going to give it a second, and there you go. There's some kids' movies there for you guys. Already on there and already part of the menu. All right, you got some movies and TV shows. All right, so if you select uh, down, then you got Blinky TV, Bob's Kids, Jacob, Gummy Bear, Peppa Pig, Wild Brain, Tykes, Disney, and Disney 2. So some great choices there for your kids. Very kid-friendly. TV, let's go into TV. This is going to be your live TV, guys. All right, you got channels, news, shows, movies, sports, music. So let's go into news. I've had some people ask me about Fox Network and things like that. There you go. There's Fox Channel News. You've got MSNBC, and you can pull up any of these live TVs and try to watch them. I put keyword try there. Um, to be honest with you, the live TV uh, is not the greatest in the world. I don't normally rely on that a whole lot. And you can try it, uh, but here's your TV, you know, your TV shows here, guys. There's a lot of choices there. I've got kids in here, and they're trying to distract me, so I do apologize. You also have channels. You can go into your channels here and look at all the different channels that you can go into, guys. This is like having a Dish Network or DirecTV or any of those, cable TV. So a lot of great options. I mean, as you can see, there's just a ton, a ton of movie options or not movie options. I'm sorry, TV shows, live TV show options. All right. So there's, there's that it was all we went through and I just went through the ends. All right. You also have sports and music that you can go into as well. And that's through the TV one add on. All right, if we scroll down, automatically you got TV One add-on. There's Supremacy, Matrix, Goodfellas, FTVFA, Stream Army. Stream Army is really good. Maiden Cam, Live TV, Quantum, and Project Cipher. So some great options there for your live TV viewing, guys. Next, we got Sports. We can click on Sports. And give it a second here to pull up. And this is brought to you through the add-on called Live Premiership. All right, you got live matches, live channels. We'll go into that. And then looky here, guys. There's Sky Sports, BT Sports, if you're a big uh, MMA fan. I think you all have heard me numerous times, but BT Sports 2 is where you're going to actually find your UFC pay-per-view events. Free of charge, guys. Just remember that. You got Fox Sports 1 and 2, awesome, BN Sports, Box Nation. So a lot of great choices there for your live sports viewing. All right, if you scroll down, you've got Live Premiership, Live Sports Quantum, UK Turk, and there's everybody's favorite, Sports Devil. You also have Matrix and TV One as well. So some great options there as well, guys. Music, you scroll down, you got Add-ons, Files, Beats, Top 40, Karma, U Music. Vivo, Vivo Music, so some great music add-ons, and then if you pull it up via the menu, you got the Stream Army, you got UK Top 40, Top 50 Artists and Albums, Albums, Disney Soundtracks, World Radio, all kinds of choices there as well. Like I said, Stephen does not leave any un or any stone unturned. All right, just keep that in mind. All right, and then you got add-ons. You can go into add-ons, and there's your My Add-ons, recently updated, install for repository, install from zip. Okay, so right off the bat, if you guys are wanting to add uh, anything on there, you have to go into this section to be able to do the install from zip file. But if we go into My Add-ons, then you can actually select if you want to look at the uh, program add-ons. Here's all your program add-ons that Steven has added in his build. And you also have the uh, video add-ons, all right? There's all of your video add-ons that he's added. And trust me, I mean, he's got a lot in here. For this build, I mean, it is a great build. It is 
got a lot of options. As you can see, there's a lot of options there, guys, for movie, TV show viewing, or even live TV showing. All right, so the next thing is settings. You've got your interface here, skin settings, media, live TV, add-on, services, system, system info, and there's your file manager, guys. So if you want to add uh, the add-on, you have to go in there, and then all you have to do once you've added the source is back up and then go right into add-ons here, and there you go. There's install from zip, install from repository. All right, and there's other things that you can go in as well. So if you want to change the interface, all you do is click to the right. It's a Bello 6 Nero skin, but you can also go back to your plain estuary, which is your Cody 17.3 skin as well. All right, so there's some options there. All right, so then you've got your player, media, skin settings so don't be afraid to check any of those out and try to make the the build what what you want all right next thing is search so with that search you can pretty much search for anything within this so let's say we want to view the movie taps so we're going to type in taps it was one of um, tom cruise's very first movies and there's our quick link there just hit done and then let's say we want to look under the movies from the movie database just click enter and there it is guys how awesome is that all right I can't play that or else I would actually play it for you uh, it is a Century Fox movies so they have a copyright laws on those so we can't do that but anyway that's it guys then you're back to your hub it's very simple very basic uh it's not a lot of mastery to navigate through all these menus and everything uh hope you guys enjoy the contest like i said this is gonna make me happy to give this out to somebody that um that is deserving of a newer device so i'm excited about giving away the little box q2 it's a great little device uh, and it's got two USB ports, so you can actually add on a USB hub. And uh, speaking of hub there, uh, you can actually add that on and add external memory like I have with my NVIDIA Shield. There's a lot of options there. It's a very fast device, and it streams uh, up to 4K. So if you have 4K um, viewing services, uh, then that will have uh, a definite impact on the viewing quality. But it's very nice, uh, and I'm excited about giving it away. All right, so once again, remember, guys, got to subscribe. Got to remember what the key word, key phrase, or key something was today. Write it down. Keep it in your memory, whatever, because uh, on the third day, which would be Saturday, you're going to leave me a, uh, an email, and you're going to give me the three uh, key word, key phrases, or key somethings that you come up with answer-wise, and you're going to email me with those, okay? So then we're going to, out of those emails, if those are all right and you are subscribed and you have left me a comment, because I will verify everything, if you've left me a comment today on what your favorite video of mine is, then that will enter you into the contest, guys. So then we'll pick a winner and, and I will send it to them. But like I said, once I pick the winner, I'll get their information. So as far as their address and things like that goes. So Hope you guys enjoy the contest. Really, really appreciate all the love and support. I want to do something for you guys for being there for me. So I'm going to give you guys something back as well. So thank you guys for watching today. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the contest. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And you guys take care. I will see you on the next video.